Thanks for the introduction, Joe. Hi, everybody. Today we're in my backyard on a hot Mississippi day looking at my muscadines. And as you can see, they're still green. But at the end of the summer, they'll be ready to pick and make some good muscadine jelly. And I'll share that recipe with you as well. But today, we're making honeybee Madagascar vanilla bean cookies. And they're going to be made from the honey extracted from salt life apiary. And the honey was extracted from this hive a few days ago. So the cookies will be made with very fresh honey. The queen in this hive came from Italy, and her name is Queen Isabella. And she's very, very docile. These bees will sting. The worker bees will sting you. As you can see, I'm out here unprotected, but I'm not going to stay long. But um, so anyway, let's go in the kitchen and start the kitchen baking now. And I'm going to show you some of the ingredients because they're really beautiful. And it's important to look and see what all you're going to be eating, especially when it's fresh ingredients. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is take a fresh vanilla bean and we're going to scrape it. We need about a half a teaspoon. And I get these vanilla beans from the Boston Vanilla Bean Company. They're Madagascar, and these are the best that you can get. And you can go to bostonvanillabeans.com and order these, and they're fabulous. We use them for ice cream and all of, all of the baking that we do here. Okay. What you want to do is split the bean down the middle, and I've already done that. And then you'll take your knife and just scrape out the good vanilla bean and it just comes right out okay and we need to get about a half a teaspoon of this but for now what, what I want to show you is I've already put in an egg a half a cup of brown sugar and now we're going to add our honey we're going to use a half a cup of this fabulous honey that we got from our backyard from Salt Life Apiary very fresh and beautiful and this is what we eat from in the morning I'm going to pour this right in. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, then we're going to put in a whole stick of butter. You can use salted or unsalted. That part doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to put this in. We're going to beat this up really, really good. It's going to look gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, so we're just going to give this a little beating. Scrape the sides down. Okay, next what we're going to do is add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, which is already in here. We're going to add that. Continue to stir. Okay, then we're going to add our vanilla bean. Okay, you can measure if you want to. I know this is about a half a teaspoon, so I'm just going to dump it right in. It's okay if you put a little more. Okay, now that we've mixed that thoroughly, you can see the fresh vanilla bean in there. It's so much better than using the extract. And now we're going to put about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. If you want to put a little more, that's fine. I just put about a half a teaspoon. And then we're going to add a half a cup of pecans. These are chopped. Very fine. Give that a stir. Okay, now we're going to drop these by a spoonful like that. Oh, and by the way, the oven is at 375. It only takes these about seven or eight minutes to cook, so that's the great thing. And you can make these as big as you'd like. This is the size I do them. Just like that. Very simple. Okay, we've taken our cookies out of our oven and they've cooled for about 10 minutes so now we have them on our plate and ready to go with our homemade vanilla bean ice cream tonight these pair very very well with the homemade ice cream if you look closely you can see the specks of vanilla beans in the cookies it's so important to use fresh ingredients such as a whole vanilla bean it makes a big difference i hope everybody makes these and enjoys them and now i'm going out to my garden check my vegetables Thanks.